Tennessee comments. Hello, good morning, happy Sunday. So my name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty in Paper Crafts and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I go live every Sunday morning uh, for coffee and a card. So happy new year and welcome. <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys to be here. I have some really cute products, uh, projects to show you today that I added new mini catalog. Have you guys been able to peek in the new catalog? It's so exciting. If not, I'll show you what they look like. So mine's already flagged up with all the things I want. <laughs> I have lots of flags. So this is the mini catalog. It's absolutely adorable inside. I can show you inside now. And today, um, two of my projects I actually cased directly from the catalog. So this, um, and of course when I, when I say case, I mean I took the initial idea and then I kind of went my own direction with it. So the first one is on page seven. Can you guys see? There's that, in, I used pigment sprinkles, but there's the um, card that we're going to make. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. So page seven is a card that I cased, and then if you actually go to the page where the suite is at, on page 53, I cased, and you guys probably saw that, um, I cased one of their samples down here. Of course, I made it my own but that is where the original idea went from. So if you ever are in a place where you need to um, get creative but you don't know where to start or you need ideas, the catalog is always an amazing place to start. Now, along with the mini catalog that's released, this, is, this catalog's good from January through June, is a celebration catalog. And this catalog is good from January 1st through March 31st. And the really exciting thing about this is that everything in this catalog is free with a purchase of $50 or $100. So there's $50 rewards and there's $100 rewards. So something that says 50 on the corner, like this adorable meerkat stamp set, is free with a $50 purchase. And then something that has the red little thing, like the stamp set and the embossing folder, the new embossing folder, that's a hunt free with a $100 purchase. So very exciting. Happy New Year, Addison and Barbara. Okay, so very exciting. And then on top of that, I, got, I showed you guys a quick little sneak peek of the uh, mini trimmer. This is that mini guillotine trimmer. And the um, designer series paper pack. So there is a celebration starter kit special that's happening right now through March 31st. You get $125 in product of your choice, anything you want, for $99. It also includes that mini trimmer, a pack of 6x6 six six designer series paper samples of all the new paper, and any free stamp set from that's current, so anything in the clearance rack, anything in the annual catalog, anything in the mini catalog, any of those stamp sets, you can pick one for free. Doesn't matter price, doesn't matter um, as long as it's current and if it's in one of those catalogs. So very exciting. Um, if you have questions about the starter kit, please let me know. I'm here to help you and answer any questions. Plus you get that extra 20% discount for over three months, so you'll get that 20% discount for over three months continuing, um, and we can talk about ways um, to keep you continuing after that, um, or uh, uh, if you don't meet that $300 minimum of orders within each quarter, you just drop back to being a customer. So no um, catches to buying the starter kit, no requirement of having to be, you know, like me on Facebook Live or doing anything scary like that, no requirement of doing classes, no nothing. Um, just getting that awesome discount. That's why we kind of call it the frequent shopper discount because you love the product so much, you want a good deal for it, and you buy it. <laughs> okay, before the last thing before I go go showing you these projects is if you love the Mountain Air bundle and you love the projects that I did today, you will want to make sure that you are part of the new Pretty AF group. Um, January is free, so there's no obligation to join. After January, it's $15 a month, but you're welcome to join for January and check it out. I'm gonna have an entire class using the Mountain Air stamp set. So I've got all kinds of fun projects lined up, like even 
I, my gift card fell out, but even this little gift card holder, look at that, holds a gift card. Another beautiful card that we're gonna make. So you, if you want, if you're not tired of the Mountain Air stamp set and bundle and you wanna see more, that's gonna be my class that I feature next, this coming Friday on the new group. So, okay, I think I've talked enough. Let's go ahead and talk about the projects we're actually gonna do today. So I have three projects. I didn't get to show you guys this one. This one is a little backpack. I started making all these um, mountain projects and I thought, oh my gosh, I need a little backpack for this little adventurer, whoever this adventurer is going on an adventure. So this is um, actually a very feminine suite. This is the best dress suite or dress to impress stamp set. And then this is the all dressed up dies. So this set has a die to make a purse. And by tweaking it just slightly, I have turned it into a backpack. I have used the sentimenter in this um, stamp set. So, Life is Short, Be Bold. And this is from Life is Short, Buy the Shoes, and Be as Bold as Your Lipstick. So I took and I masked off some of the words and I did Life is Short, Be Bold. So this is our other project that we're gonna be doing today. It's super, super cute. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take that purse die and turn it into a backpack. And then like I mentioned, <clears throat> These two cards are actually cased from the catalog themselves. I saw both of these cards and I thought, oh my gosh, these are absolutely stunning. How do they do these? I'm gonna try. So of course, mine are gonna be slightly different because um, you know, I had to guess at some of the things that they did, but this is my version of that card, so I can't wait to show you guys. And then this one, I thought, oh, this is so sweet, this little scenic view through a window. Um, and it's really cool to layer all these different stamps and elements. So we're gonna do those projects. Now, one thing I wanna point out about this bundle that I think is really, really cool is that it's double, it's a reversible stamp. So basically what they're telling us is that for each stamp, you can turn it over and do a solid image on the back, back side. So um, I don't think I have any <laughs> stamps in here, but <clears throat> for example, I'll do the mountains for example. For example, here are the mountains. And this is the detailed etch side. So it makes, and I'll just take up a scrap piece of paper so we can show you. Let's take a bigger piece. Okay, here's a good one. All right, so I'll stamp in Cajun craze so you guys can see. So for example, you have the etch side of the mountain, which is gonna give you the detail like this. Okay? So it has the beautiful edges and ridges and it's really, really cool. Okay, so now let's clean off the stamp and turn it around. Okay, now you have this solid image on the background. So we're gonna ink it up again. I'm gonna turn it over because it's noisy. Okay, and you can stamp it. You can overlap your mountains a little bit if you want. If you're creating a scene or you can stamp it separate. I'm kind of overlapping. But now you have a solid mountain. So you see you can start layering different kinds of patterns. You can start layering the tree line. So this one is a tree line that shows kind of a reflection of water. So you can do the tree line or you can flip it over and do the solid tree line and you can start layering and adding different um, textures and layers. So it's really, really a, a cool um, kind of concept of these stamps and kind of getting more out of one stamp set. So it really shows you, and we're gonna do that a little bit this with these projects, um, with some of these stamps that you can um, play around with these a little bit. Okay, so for our first card, let's go ahead and make this card here. This card is so cute and it looks really complex but it's super simple. Um, I took the nested stitch labels and I cut out a window from, this is um, Sahara Sand, and then it's kind of hard to see on camera but I embossed this outside piece with the pine wood planks. So I actually went ahead and did that for us ahead of time. 
because the less die cutting that you have to sit and watch me do, the better, right? <laughs> so, I have a piece. This is Sahara sand, and I cut it at five and a half by eight and a half and scored it at four and a quarter. So it's just a, st a standard card. And then I cut a piece of Sahara sand, and this measures um, five and, and, let's see, five and a quarter by four. So it's kind of, you know, standard kind of matte piece. And then I cut, like I said, the nested stitch label, and then I embossed with that pine wood planks. Okay, so then I have a piece of Whisper White, and this measures five inches by three and three quarter inches. This is going to be where we're going to stamp and um, put our, kind of build our scene. So the first thing we're gonna do, and I have my, <clears throat> my colors here. I have Old Olive, Balmy Blue, and Sahara Sand. So our mountains here in this picture, our mountains are gonna be Sahara Sand. So we're gonna stamp those, get the stamp. And I have the tree line here as well, because we're going to need that for in a minute. So we have our mountains. Ink that up. And then <clears throat> stamp this just right about in the center of your card. And I'm just kind of rocking it a little bit. I want to make sure it gets nice and stamped. Okay, so there's our mountain line. Okay, then we have a piece of old olive, and I cut the sides down to five inches, and that's about two and a half inches by five inches. And this is going to be our tree line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp our trees, and then we're going to die cut this. So let me clean off my mountain, because I only have one of these big blocks. So we're gonna have to kind of switch between the two here. So here's our tree line. And we're going to get our old olive ink. Yes, this stamp set is so cool. You guys are going to love it. For those of you that have ordered it, you will not be disappointed. All right, so I want to make sure. <clears throat> Now that I peeled it off. Okay, I'm just gonna stamp this across and it is gonna be slightly shorter than the um, cardstock, but that's okay. So we're gonna stamp that. All right, so we have this um, tree line going across the paper. Now um, I'm going to also stamp our little trees and stamp our clouds so that we can cut everything out at once. So this is why I have a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to stamp the two trees in the clouds. <clears throat> so, there's two different types of trees in this stamp set. There is a single tree and a pair of trees. And look, you can even reverse them and get a solid tree image if you wanted. These would be great for like a scenic card. So, for example, um, this card, if I featured it um, as part of my welcome video on my new Pretty AF group. So, if you missed that, go back and watch that. But you can see I used kind of that solid piece to kind of give um, a shadow or a, a sunset. You could do that with these trees, kind of create a shadow. Okay, so we're going to stamp these trees on a piece of Whisper White because we're going to cut them out. So there's one tree or one set of trees. Here's our second tree. And then I have these clouds. And they're such cute clouds. I really like them. So I used Balmy Blue. And I stamped two. Okay, so we're going to cut those out. Now before I'm through though, I'm going to reverse this cloud stamp. And I am going to stamp the solid image in the background. And I did that on my other card. So you can see there's some solid images of clouds in the background. It's kind of hard to see, but they're there. So what I'm going to do to create this, so I've got, I've got the back side of my stamp facing forward. And my block is wet, so it's having a hard time sticking. Come on. Oh boy. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna ink up the back side of my stamp and I'm gonna stamp off a couple times because I want a really light cloud. So there's just a really light cloud in the background. Okay, so I've got some clouds going on. Doesn't really matter how you do it. Okay, so we've got some clouds. Um, the other thing we need is we need some birds. And there's a little bird. I'm gonna use Night of Navy ink for this. I'm gonna stamp a couple sets of birds coming from this mountain. So some birds and more birds. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a flock of birds in the distance. All right, now we need our big shot. We'll put our pieces up here so we can cut them out. So the dies are really cool. The dies cut out the mountains, the clouds, the tree line. It also has these two big detail trees, which we're gonna use later. Um, and then the it cuts out the little trees. So let's go ahead and start building this scene. So we have got our tree line and I just want to make sure my trees, see I really like this length here because you can see a lot of the mountain but you've got the tree so there's no like gap. So I'm going to glue this down. Now I did not, so I did not glue the tree line down or the um, clouds with dimensionals. I just did those directly with glue. But I did put dimensionals on the big trees that I cut out. So we'll do that. Okay, so I've got my trees on dimensionals and they're in the front of everything. So you can see here's my little scene coming together. All right, so the next thing I did was I took my um, window and I put dimensionals all on the back side of my window. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna take the baker's twine, or the linen thread, sorry, and I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom of my card. All right, so this is gonna be the front of my card. And so what I'm gonna do is position my linen thread where I want it. I think I want my bow over just slightly, okay? So there, and then on the back side is where I'm gonna put those, dim those dimensionals. So I'm gonna put them in the four corners and I'm going to put them in the middle. And on the sides. Just want to make sure this stays down and holds everything in place. Okay, so we are going to center this in the little window, okay? And some of your dimensionals may stick out and it doesn't matter if it's off-centered because it's all behind, you can't see it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take liquid glue Put it all on the back piece here. And I'm gonna stick it down. Such a pretty little scene. I love it. Okay, so there we go. And you can kind of, with liquid glue, you can adjust a little bit, not a lot. Okay, so there's now, I have a little piece of Night of Navy, and this is gonna be our little sentiment. So I have a happy birthday. I actually got happy birthday from the new golf set. So I'm kind of using whatever sentiments I want for wherever I find them. Um, and this is just happened to be the one that I liked. So happy birthday. I have it here on a stamp, and I'm going to um, use Versamark ink. So I'm gonna ink it up. Stamp it in the middle. And then I'm gonna use white embossed powder. Cover it in white embossed powder, then heat set it. I 
I just did a little dovetail at the end and I just did it the lazy way. So all what I did was I just took my scissors and I cut up the side and then I did diagonal to that point where I cut. So I just made myself a little, this is what I call a lazy dovetail. It's not symmetrical, it's not perfect, but it does the job. So I've got my two little dovetails, okay? And then I took dimensionals and I put them on the back of the label. And then I glued it down over my linen thread, like so. This is a great card, not only masculine, but I think for anyone. But this would be a good option for a masculine card. It really didn't take too much to make it. Um, and it really makes a statement. It's very, very pretty. So there's project number one. But if you wanted all three of my projects from today's Facebook Live, you would just need to place an order on my online store. All of the information is um, located in this top corner here. Can you guys see the corner? W-A-S-C-U-M-W-J. So you can get all of those projects by placing a $35 order. Um, if you up it to 50, then you get a free celebration item and a free gift of those poppy parade elements, the peaceful poppies elements from me for free. So lots of free. Thank you guys so much for watching today and playing along and getting messy. Look at my messy hands. <laughs> just the way I like it. Um, thank you guys so much and have a fabulous week and we will see you next week for more fun. Hopefully I'll see you guys Friday for more mountain air bundles um, projects on my new Pretty AF group. All right guys, bye.